Hi there, thank you so much for stopping by. This is the unboxing video of the February trial box for the stationery selection. So when you open up the box, you will see this hand-carved stamp and it is uh, and it says Boombog Buckle, which means stationery box in Japanese. And we tied it up with this pretty red uh, rice paper cord, Japanese cord, and it's called a Mizuhiki. And we stamped arigato on the bottom there, which means thank you in Japanese. There's just a glassine paper and a explanation sheet. And I really kind of realized right now that I've miss I'm missing a little bit of information, but hopefully this video will go into more detail explaining what's inside. This postcard was actually created by my husband's father. Uh, we don't really have a theme for this first box because it was just a trial but my husband wanted he had this image in his head that he wanted i guess like a carry-all case with a pencil and um, i guess for your accessories to go out and sketch and so we asked my well my husband asked his father if he could um, create something that looked kind of like a sketch because he used to draw i don't know if he still does but my husband's father or my father-in-law used to draw so we asked him to create something and I guess this is from his trip in his trip to Hawaii um, he I guess drew some palm trees I'm not too sure but we wanted to put that in there it's a postcard you can feel free to journal on it or you can you know tip it in uh, in your traveler's notebook or your notebook uh, for journaling as well or of course you can use it as a postcard then next we have this pencil it's made in Japan and my husband found it uh, when he was browsing some websites it's actually created in Tokyo in uh, Shitamachi Tokyo and it is called the Kitaboshi Enpitsu I will go into more detail on how to use it and how to sharpen the lead uh, in the at the end of the video so if you wanted to take a look at it in more detail there will be some instructions at the end of the video Next up are these really neat page flags. I've never seen these before. I just thought it was really cool because you can indicate the page as well as the specific par uh, part or the point in the page. The arrow part detaches from the body. So I thought that was pretty neat and I wanted to include that. Next we have this really cool Life Noble notebook and this is in the plain paper. This is a full A5 size and the paper is just so nice and smooth and uh, yeah, really, really nice notebook. Next up we have this letter set. It's a small letter set with some cute um, like mailing pieces or ephemera pieces. I thought it would be nice to include if you are into, I guess, pen paling or if, even if it's just for writing small little notes to friends and family. This one here is a classic stamp of your specific initial. Some of the initials were kind of hard to read. I think th like the S and the T, we didn't, it was hard to read, but um, yeah, uh, this is a stamp of your first initial. Thought that was really nice. And lastly, we have this pretty neat A5 cover from Kokuyo, and it is water resistant. And I really like the feature of having the pocket up front and uh, there's a pocket in the back too. It wraps around the back. You can insert your life notebook as well as a notebook that's already in there. You can see the slit that's there and it has uh, two bookmarks as well. You can see that are attached to the spine at the top. And the notebook that's included is a lined notebook and there is a business slot in the back side and yeah I think there's an elastic closure here yes there's an elastic closure so if you wanted to use that to close it up you can so that is the notebook cover that you can use as is or of course you can put in your life notebook uh, that's included in the box this is going to be the Kitaboshi Enpitsu demonstration and Tio from Parka Blogs he actually has a really great up close video and a blog post I will post um, down below in the description box. 
But here is the packaging of the Kitabosh Empitsu. This company has been around for over 65 years. The product is made right in Japan in the Shitamachi of Tokyo and it has won an award, a Japan, Japan Stationery Award several years ago. And uh, it starts off by asking you, when was the last time you held a wooden pencil? And um, come to think of it, I probably don't really gravitate towards wooden pencils. Um, they mentioned in their packaging that the production of wooden pencils has dropped 30% compared to 40 years ago. So I guess this company kind of wants to bring back the passion for wooden pencils and they created the body uh, this way. And they also included this really nice slender light uh, pencil sharpener. It's for your lead and like I mentioned earlier on uh, Parka Blogs or Teal, he has a really nice close-up of how to use this pencil sharpener. To push the lead through, you just kind of push on the back of the pencil like you see here. And you keep pushing until all the lead, not all, but some of the lead comes out so that you can uh, stick it into the provided pencil sharpener. So you see the lead is sticking out there and I just stick it into the blades and to sharpen it you turn it clockwise and then counterclockwise. Uh, usually with I guess regular pencil sharpeners you would just go clockwise but this with this one you can go both ways. You can see the lead here is nice and sharp. You can push it back in like you would with a mechanical pencil. And now I'm just going to write some things down. Uh, this is actually the Life Noble notebook that's included in your February trial box. And then my husband decided to write what I wrote in English in Japanese. So you'll see him writing here with the Kitaboshi Enpitsu. So I hope you enjoyed watching the unboxing of the first the stationery selection trial box make sure you check out the website down below and i will see you soon thank you so much bye bye